today we are doing a simple video very simple video just to you know uh, show how these lightings are used I ordered one in and yes let's find out this uh, LED strip light most youtubers almost all youtubers now have uh, the strip lights lighting you know flashing from behind the desk or something you know um, but is that really how to use it let's find out coming up my name is Alec Godwin welcome to the, another um, time out with me on Alec GTV uh, here we do music movies and more and um, more of course includes tech reviews and anything entertaining okay so here yeah, I got this uh, Nexi Lumi Nexi Lumi it's, it's called TV backing light and then it's controlled by an app all right so all right so we have a thank you for purchase read this and we have uh, the app directions uh, it's a happy lightning is the happy lighting is the app's name where you could get control over this guy um, well if you ask me I would have preferred uh, a remote but I guess the price is it's really okay it's, I think it, it's about $12 $12.99 13 so let's say $13 um, without a remote and it does well is all it says then it's still a good buy it's a good buy because uh, it's waterproof you can use it outdoor I don't think the uh, most others have a waterproof option and then you can stick it to any surface now this is how it looks for those of you who haven't seen it all right most people most youtubers just put it on and then tell you there's a strip light behind there but but you never get to see it so uh, i thought you should check it out and then also let's know how exactly how it should be used now these things were create, created for tv it, it kind of gives that uh, cinema look or cinema feel or um theatrical like it gives you that experience of a cinema even though it's not surround sound hopefully if you have surround sound and you got that home theater going on if you put this right behind your television it's gonna be you know the experience is gonna be more exciting so really it should be behind your TV so you ask what is the right way to use this stuff behind your TV so it glows however you want it you can set it however you want it and make it blink while you watch your TV or you could just keep a steady light turn off all the lights in the in the room and then get your home theater to play with that background on the side you you know it gives you the you're not in complete darkness but you got the sense of you know focus on the screen all right so that's a that's how it should be used uh, but is it wrong how we use it today how most youtubers use it today absolutely not so on the app there is there's adjust there's music there's tip there's style there is timing all right there's a lot you can learn so go ahead and and play with your device all right but for for the one that blinks with uh reacts to the sound you press your tip and Yes, uh, I think this is my best uh, option because this will react with the sound that it hears. I don't watch lots of TV. This is my TV. These are my TV screens. So I'm going to set mine up behind my TV screen. So when I'm editing, I can have that experience that you have when you watch your TV or theater at home. I want that experience when I edit a movie and get you know so hopefully I'll set it up the way it every time you that's why the option of a remote or an app is good so you could set it right for the mood 
you know so when you editing and you do you feel like the lights are no no i don't want it i want to be focused you turn off the light you keep this one on keep it the right color that works for you and you're good to go so it sounds like a little bit of uh it sounds like a little tip like it's not so important but it is if you do edit movies or music videos or you do spend a lot of time on the computer then you you surely know what this you would know <laughs> you would know coffee is not everything coffee keeps you awake this one keeps you maybe it's a little bit awake too and focus audio studios yeah guys audio engineers i know a lot of audio engineers who um um not use these but can use this now now that you know um but they put they buy expensive that's what they buy expensive um colored lights and they let it fall down on the console when they when they want to mix then they let the the mood come out from the from the console uh from the colors and they get into that mood and they mix that is expensive now this is just 12 13 bucks you could get the same job done maybe even better feel so if you try it out i'll put the links in the description below you see i mean it will change a lot of things if you already have those lights you can't go wrong with those big lights floodlights that you already have if you haven't go with this so you don't so you don't waste lots of cash okay now let's try to set it up it uses the USB, so you should go to um, the back of your TV or um, USB. Um, so let's go and put this right there. Now it's got uh, like a glue, this red layer on this side. Let's see. This red layer on this side, it's got a glue. So when you when you take it up, it becomes sticky. Now, from what I read about this stuff, it gets sticky. Um, the longer you leave it on, the longer, the harder it becomes. So if you really want to do it temporarily, um, after you don't shoot it, you want you want to take it off, take it off immediately, because uh, according to what it said, it stays sticky. So if you got a permanent place, then leave it on and you're good to go. It stays. You know, but if you want to do a temporary stuff, put it on and take it out immediately after. Then you'll be good. It's better to get it to the edges. But if you can't go around the edges, then stick it down as far as it, it can go and the light will shoot still come out. So this, the rest of it, this part, you can connect to the back of the TV, the USB or your monitor. You can put it back there, but I'm not turning on the monitor right now. So I use this my device and then I plug it in and power on. And power on. So lights are on already. Um, now that the lights are down you probably can see a little bit of uh, the blue in the background basically this is how this is how you set it up all right let me show you what i did okay and so so now you get the feel of of what it is i did now yeah but i wish I wish there was an option to push a, to push a button right here to change it. But you get the gist. Now you could change it to red, blue, green, like the other one that I have. You know that has a remote. You push on the remote, you get these different colors. Okay. Uh, I'll put that one in the link in the description as well. I just needed one to stay permanently behind the screen my editing um, computer i just needed one to stay permanently there and you know kind of give this vibe why the other one will be on the desk and this will be behind the 
um, TV or the monitor. Go ahead and be creative about it. At Christmas, you could blink it. I don't like to blink it like the strobe one. Um, but during Christmas, then it becomes applicable because it becomes your Christmas light if you want to. If you have enough at home to make it like that, otherwise go with the regular one. But I'm saying too much. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and click hit the like button if you like this video. If it did help you in some way, uh, go ahead and comment. Give me tips and you know ideas if you know better ways of doing this or better ways of um, displaying it. New ideas is always welcome. And go ahead and let us know in the comment below. Let us know what you use. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.